today we will discuss about a paper that discusses the interaction of the tumor with the matrix or the extracellular matrix and that results in the chemo resistance in pancreatic uh, tumors and this uh, chemo resistance will be re is reversible as when the tumors are switched from high stiffness to the low stiffness this chemo resistance goes down so from that they are able to make a point that targeting the tumor macro environment could be an effective means to increase the efficiency of already existing disease already existing treatments against the tumors so here they have considered the matrix tumor uh, cellular matrix against the pancreatic tumor cells so first they wanted to check out how this cellular matrix in in vivo or in the patients who are affected with the pancreatic cancers uh, composed of so this is the uh, normal pancreas where we can see the low amount of this hyaluronidin and fibronectin however in the pdsc tumors we can see that high amount of hyaluronidin and fibronectin indicating that pdsc tumors is composed of uh, more number of this fibronectins hyaluronidin and also uh, several factors that are essential for this ha uh, presence and the HA presence is being shown in this panel B where several uh, substrate uh, several uh, sub subset of this HA or precursor of this HA has been shown here where we can see that for the fibronectin they have shown that it's statistically significant in PDAC similarly several uh, several HA subsets are also shown here that is HAS1, HAS2, HAS3 which are statistically significant compared to the normal pancreas and also this UGDH is also statistically significant compared to the normal pancreas and when they compare the sheer uh, stiffness of normal pancreas with the pancreatic tumors they find out that in the pancreatic tumors the stiffness is higher uh, compared in the normal pancreas it is around 900 uh, pascals whereas in the case of pancreatic cancer it is around 2900 pascal uh, thereafter after finding out their uh, compositions that are that in vivo cellular matrix of the pancreatic tumors composed of they wanted to design the uh, this kind of cellular matrix in in vitro so for this they created uh, this model that is help ecm that is uh, ha h means this ha uh, uh, proteins and e means this uh, E means this elastic like proteins. So combining this HA and ELP, they call it as uh, HELP ECM cellular matrix, and it basically contains this uh, repeated sequence of fibronectin and also this elastic like domain such as VPGAG, VPGKG, and VPGAG2, and uh, also this elastic like domain that is shown here, uh, which are for, uh, present in the repeated forms and uh, what they do is after creating this uh, matrix they introduce this pancreatic tumor organoid uh, pancreatic tumors organoid in this help hydrogel that can be that is looks like this so it, it is introduced in the uh, low stiffness hydrogel and the high stiffness hydrogel and when they check uh, this stiffness modulus of this help matrices and compare them with the uh, standard culture matrix which is composed of the several uh, proteins that are found in the ECM and what they have find out is that at the high uh, high help matrices has the stiffness that is close to the uh, pancreatic tumors in vivo found pancreatic tumors uh, stiffness and after that they wanted to check uh, they wanted to check the uh, migrations or uh, migrations when they uh, PD, when they in introduced PDAC organoid in the help hydrogel and they can see that the migrations all lo uh, looks similar in all the three in all the four cases including the culture X help low help medium and help high and the quantifications with respect to time is shown in the panel G where we can see that although uh, there is a decrease in the uh, migration or there is a uh, 
in, there is a low rate of increase in the migration of the pancreatic tumors in different help matrices compared to the culture x however the final uh, final outcome is uh, final outcome is final outcome after 15 days is almost same and uh, thereafter they wanted to check their different kind of they wanted to check their different kind of different they wanted to check the effect of chemo uh, effect of tumor macro environment or uh, different matrices on the chemo resistance of the tumor cells so for that they check this apoptotic factor that is caspase cleaved caspase 3 whether it is present in uh, the tumor cells or not and also this affecting when they introduce this 100 nanomolar gmc turbine was which is the commercially available uh, treatment for the uh, tumors uh, by triggering the apoptosis so when they uh, check the pancreatic tumors in these uh, conditions what they find out that in the culture x the tumor there is a high uh, signals there is a high signals for this cleaved caspase 3 way and also this signals but this signals goes down with increase in the stiffness in the help the help low also has high caspase 3 but help medium has low caspase 3 and help high has very low caspase 3 indicating that with increase in the stiffness of the help high with the increase in the stiffness of the cellular matrix there is a uh, chemo resistance developed and this chemo resistance is measured by this cleaved caspase 3 that is the less cells are triggered apoptosis in the help uh, high matrices which are present in the help high matrices and the quantifications are shown in the panel i where we can see that uh, in the control case where only dmso is used uh, there is no uh, difference that they have observed uh, in between the different conditions that is different culture x help low help medium help high however when they use this gmc turbine they can see that difference is clear and it is the the lowest uh, cleaved caspase 3 area has been observed lowest cleaved caspase 3 has been observed when the help matrices has high stiffness compared to the medium and low but the medium and low but the this medium matrices also shows the decrease in the uh, decrease in the clipped caspase 3 compared to the uh, culture case so all this indicates that is the uh, chemo resistance all these in, uh, results that are shown in this figure indicates that chemo resistance are been developed by the matrices of the tumors that results in the that results in the less effectiveness of this uh, of the medicines or of the treatments that are developed against the tumors and here the example of 100 millimolar nanomolar injection of gmc turbine has been shown so i hope you understood this figure in brief if you need to understand this figure in detail you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time